Hi, um, today we're going to go over vectors in C++. So, um, yeah, vectors are very uh, widely used in C++ because they're a lot more, I guess, easy to use. Um, and they're also very common in East Code and competitive programming and all that. So, um, if we start, so vectors, um, you can basically think of them as dynamic arrays. And what that means is that for an array, you have like a set size. So you might say like, um, actually, let me say int r 10. So then you have like, uh, you have an array of size 10, exactly 10, and you can't really modify that um, <clears throat> once you initialize it. Um, so what vectors do allow you to do is actually you can like um, they can shrink or grow um, according to your needs. So um, instead of having to you know initialize it, you can just initialize an empty vector and then add or remove elements as needed. And so the reason why this is really helpful is because um, you might not know what size you need. So um, if you don't know in advance, you can just use an vector. Um, yeah, so if we declare a vector, vector in C++ is the syntax. Um, back. So in here goes your um, type, and then you have um, the name of your vector. And so, yeah, you basically have yourself a... Um, Oh, what is this? You basically have yourself an empty vector. Um, one thing you can do is make like a vector of arrays. So you can set like like this, then you'll have um, an array of size 100, and then each element is a vector. Um, you can also like make 2D vectors. Um, Um, yeah, so what we have here is we have a vector of vectors. So every time um, we make or we add something, it's going to be an empty vector. And so this does require you to push back an empty vector every time you um, want to make a new element. But yeah, we'll go into that, into that later. So what are the basic syntax for vectors? Uh, operations, sorry. Um, so let's say we have a vector of int called vec. I believe this just is so confusing. Uh, if you want to add something into vec, you can do vec dot push back. Um, let's say ten. Um, uh, accessing elements in vectors is the exact same as in arrays, so you can do int um, ten is equal to vec of zero, and that's going to give you ten. Um, and yeah, let me actually just do this in here. So, um, yeah, let's say we have vector and vec. Um, print, let's just not print, print uh, vec zero. So, yeah, so we have 10, um, we can do like a four loop. So in here, we basically push back all the integers from zero to 10. Um, let's say we don't know how big the vector is and we want to loop through and print all of it out. Well, uh, vectors, you can actually get the size, so you can do like int s equals vec dot size, and that's going to give you the size. Um, so we can actually loop through, and print everything in the vector by using the size. And we can just iterate from 0 to 
one less than vec dot size. Uh, we can do vec dot on. And yeah, you have um, 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, you can also loop through, um, or sorry, not loop through, remove elements and vectors. Um, and, and how this is done is you can use the erase function. So you can do vec.erase, um, uh, uh, sorry, vec.begin, uh, plus let's say 5. So it's going to erase the element in the fifth index of vec. So if we actually print this again, uh, using, yeah, we can see here that we've lost four, which was the fifth um, element in the vector. Uh, we can also sort vectors, and we can do this by doing uh, sort vec.begin vec end. Um, and I guess if we print it again, oh, it seems like yeah. Now we see our vector is sorted, um, and then we can also sort backwards if needed by doing this. And so if you just add this in the parameter here, then it'll sort in descending order. And yeah, we can see that there. Um, and finally, uh, for enhanced for loops, um, if you haven't watched that video already, I recommend you do. Uh, you can just do this for um, int and then the name of your loop variable. Um, the type should be the same as the type of vector. So int uh, loop variable in vec. Uh, let's just say loop variable plus plus. Um, yeah, so everything should be, actually, let's just make it a little bit more drastic. Um, oh yeah, actually this will not work. Uh, let's actually just print it from here. Yeah, it won't actually, um, save the changes if you just keep in the loop variable. So let's just print out. Or actually, I'll just make another vector. And then we're going to new vec.push. And then um, if we use another enhanced for loop. Uh, we see here that in um, NuVec we have all the elements, but they're now incremented by 10. And yeah, that is a brief overview on how vectors work in C++. Um, thank you for watching.